traditional method that I learned was saliva. That's what we use. Have you seen them do this? Yeah. <laughs> saliva. I won't use my saliva on you. Yeah. Large intestine 10. Show Sun Lee. I typically use a. S I know some people like this kind of incense. I use really thin incense. That's right, it'll work. Uh, yeah, give me paper towel so I can wipe it up eventually. We should have Lorraine do this. <laughs> so this is the area that... So in general, my suggestion, at least what I do in the clinic, and this is the influence of my Japanese teachers, even though I don't really do Japanese acupuncture anymore, I, I mainly practice Chinese acupuncture. But acupuncture is acupuncture. So. In Japanese acupuncture, we talk about the needling hand and the oshide. Oshide is the hand that osu that pushes, right? So the oshide is the palpating hand. So I palpate with the left and needle with the right. I don't palpate with the right. I mean, sometimes you do, just depending on what's easier to get to. But I, I think it's ideally good to separate jobs their hands. So my this one hand is just used to palpating, 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 palpating. Then eventually, after we palpate, this hand is rolling moxa, rolling, rolling. All it does is roll moxa. So you just get this like nervous tick of roll, 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 roll. <laughs> I don't use the wooden rollers. Some people use that. It's fine if you do. Um, I just was taught to do it by hand, so that's how, I, that's how I do it. It was just how I was taught. It's a little greasy shunko, but that's okay. I'm picky about my shunko. I make my own. I have a handmade one. So this is where I feel that flaccid area. Mm -hmm. It's a little thick. I like it a little waxier, personally, because it's not as sticky. This looks like it's decent moxa. I order my moxa from Kobayashi Ryoho. Have you ordered their stuff in Japan? I like I like their stuff. This feels like Vaseline. Is that yeah? It's a little too it's like cr too creamy for me, but it'll work. It'll work for today. Yeah, it's right. I like it waxier then it doesn't get on my fingers also. Finger makes it harder. So this hand rolls, rolls, rolls. So you practice, 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 and you get this little, eventually, thread. See? Mm -hmm. Keep on rolling. Then eventually you just take a little piece off, put it down. Ta-da! <laughs> you have to keep the ash off of this, otherwise it'll get stuck. <laughs> and ideally you use, in my experience, it's best to use not the tip, but where sort of like the burning and non-burning section <laughs> comes together. Hmm. See? So someone says, how do you extinguish it? By the time, it, by the time she says hot, it's done. Right? And then what we're going to do is, if I'm supplementing, I want to do the mox on top of the ash of the previous one. So it's not quite as hot next time. It's more of a gentle... <laughs> Supplementation. I like this incense though. It's like a Tibetan smell to it. Ding. Not too bad, huh? Okay. We do three cones. <laughs> it's not bad. No, it's not bad. I, 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 I actually really like the way this feels. I love it. <laughs> that's it. See? That's, that's thread moxa. That's, uh, so this is how I typically do the moxa in the clinic. Uh, and then that's it. And then we wipe it off. And when you're done, nothing. Just the mark that was there, that's Donna before that. Okay? So if I'm doing more supplementation, you can do like numbers five cones, nine cones. You know, that's, that's good. Uh, sometimes if I'm doing this as local treatment, so oftentimes I'll do Dong's acupuncture as distal treatment for pain management and like shoulder pain, I'll do local moxa. Then I'll choose three, four, or five points based on palpation, looking for harder subcutaneous tissue, and then do just three cones on each one to get a wider area, just to use the heat to s get things stirred up and moving. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You've frittered away yet another good day. Now a word from our sponsors.